Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. You're home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. Another Sunday Q&A, and it's another response video to the Speed Learner. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. We're going to go ahead, watch Speed Learner's video, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to answer the question. Here it comes. How thick is the door that you're replacing the knob? Okay. What type of metal would you recommend a doorknob be made out of? Okay. What type of wood would you recommend a front door to be made out of? And not just the wood inside the door, but the material on the outside as well. You don't want the, the wood to warp, and you don't want it to be discolored uh, because it had a little rain on it, that kind of thing. So I was kind of wondering, uh, what would be the best wood for the interior part of the door? And like I said, when you cover the, 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 the wood part with the outside, uh, what would you cover it with that wouldn't stain or uh, warp or something like that? What would be a good covering? Okay, because I, I, when, you, when you actually started replacing that doorknob, I saw that the wood was on the inside of the door and then there was this covering on the outside to make it look aesthetically pleasing. That's why I'm asking. Okay. What makes the new lock more sturdy? And how long were the screws? Okay, he wanted to know how thick the door was. It's about an inch and three quarters. Okay, what type of metal is the door knob made out of? I'm not real sure, and I couldn't really tell you what the best metal would be. I can just tell you, like, if you go out and you're shopping for a door knob and you pick it up and it feels really light, it's probably a cheaper one. You probably want to upgrade, but if that's all you can afford, that's all you can afford. But if you grab one of the more expensive ones, which is heavier, it's not really the difference in the metal. It's the d difference in the thickness of the metal, how well it's built. It's just one of those things you're going to have to go to Lowe's or wherever, pick them up and see. Okay, what kind of wood was in the door? I'm pretty sure it's pine. It's metal on the outside, a wooden frame, a wooden core, then another piece of metal on top of it. Okay, it's like a sandwich. Now, my kitchen door has metal on both sides with a wooden frame, then it has that foam insulation in the center just to keep it insulated just a little bit better. And it does help with the noise. Okay, what makes the lock more sturdy? It's construction. Like I said, it's just one of those things you'll go to Lowe's or wherever, pick up a cheap doorknob, People pick up the same style, but more expensive one, you'll feel the difference, and trust me, it's pretty noticeable. How long were the screws? Well, there's two different sizes of screws. The ones that went in the striker plate are probably about an inch long. Uh, the ones that actually went through the doorknob, they're going to have to be at, at least an inch and three quarters just to get through the doorknob. So I'm going to say there's probably about two inches long. I'm going to be doing a video in the future about how to make your door a little more secure. So we'll be taking out those little screws, putting bigger ones in, but that's for a future video. Okay, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments section, and maybe I'll answer them in a future video. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.